Variants still seem to be the big thing in fly tying. You take an old tried and true pattern that stacks up the fish and slightly twist it with a new technique or material. Few patterns see more variations than the Palomino Midge. Holding true to form, this variant uses techniques and materials to make an easy tie and fish producer in technical waters. Start out with a size 20 to 24 dry fly style hook. 70 Ultra Thread is gonna make the body of the midge. Wrap your thread to the back and create a slight taper by going up and down the hook two or three times. The taper is created by bringing your thread back less during each consecutive front to back pass. You can end your thread where the thorax will begin. There we're gonna add a trailing shuck, a very prominent attribute of emerging midges. This shuck material can extend well past the body and varies in color. This new shuck tying technique allows tires to make use of an otherwise underutilized material. Pluck the smallest feather from a patch of hackle fibers. This is a mini dry fly pack. All of these small capes or patches are gonna have these mini feathers and they really serve their purpose well as a shuck. You want this feather to extend just past the body, about one and a half times the length of the hook. Capture it with a pinch wrap and trim the forward leaning excess before covering any exposed feathers on the shank. From the same hackle pack, we're gonna pluck a feather more suitable of wrapping on a size 22 hook. This in a soft hackle style. Pull the fluffy butt ends and cut or break the stem to create a better tie in point. Wrap this feather onto the hook with the concave side facing up and the feather hanging forward from the front of the hook. Then we can cover these exposed wraps with a bit of dubbing. A really tiny bit of larva lace, pure silk, dun colored dubbing. Take a very sparse clump, just enough to coat your thread, and dub a short noodle. Use the dubbing to create a thorax that fits the bug and finishes the taper. Finally, make two or three wraps of your hackle immediately behind the hook eye. Capture the tag end of the hackle with your thread and pull the stem forward to break off the excess. I'm gonna half hitch this fly on the back end of the hackle, but you can tie off behind the eye of the hook if you have the space. Instead of cutting the thread and risk losing those hackle fibers, just push your scissors straight through and over top of the thread to make a clean cut. And that's the finished Palomino variant. This is a really great fly fished from the back end of a high-vis sipper midge or fished all alone during a midge hatch. This Palomino tricks finicky fish in clear water. Get to your local fly shop and make sure they have all the larva lace products you need to tie up some Palomino variants. While you're at it, try a few innovative techniques of your own. Go to HagensFish.com if you want to stock your shelves with the best synthetic materials on the market. Email or call Lori to get the conversation started. Instead of just browsing through your Facebook feed, check out Fly Tying University and post some of your favorite fly patterns or fishing adventure photos. Invite your friends to talk fly fishing and tying flies. Larva Lace is a proud partner of the Fish Stories Archive at fishstories.org, preserving fishing stories for the next generation. Thanks for tying with Larva Lace. Tight lines and best fishes.